Hi darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I've got a new What's New in My Wardrobe video for you today. These have become a monthly video to share with you all of the new pieces that are in my wardrobe from the last month to six weeks. And I find these videos especially useful because even though I do the odd haul video, I also am very lucky that I get to work with brands and fashion brands in particular and I treat myself to new things every now and then and I think these are a really nice way of combining all of the things which are new in from the past month and you guys seem to really enjoy them and for me also it's quite a good way of like keeping stock. I don't know if anyone else does this but sometimes if I have like a to-do list in my head, I find it really useful to tell other people what is on my to-do list or what I have to do that day. Just by kind of getting it out really helps me to compartmentalise those thoughts and in this way it helps me to compartmentalise the new things in my wardrobe, so I find it quite therapeutic. Um, but today I'm going to be sharing with you things from um, accessories to outfits, basically all the new stuff in my wardrobe. So everything that I mention as always will be linked in the description box down below from my jewellery. I get so many questions about this necklace, it has probably been my most worn necklace of the entire summer, it is from a brand called Edge of Ember. I've worn it in the ocean, I've worn it in swimming pools, I have worn it non-stop and it still is in perfect condition so that I think says a lot about the quality. I'll leave this link down below um, and then a little close-up of these earrings. These are very new, these were from the high street and they're quite unusual because they actually have a gold bit that almost goes in your ear which is a little bit strange because you can hear the pearl dangling around but I really love them and I think they work really nicely together. I might as well get started with this dress seeing as it's what I'm wearing and I do tend to forget about the things that I'm wearing if I don't mention them first. If you watched my video last Sunday which was on the 10 trends we all need in our wardrobes for autumn winter 19 and how to wear them now, you'll have heard me talking about dark florals and it's a trend that I'm so excited about and I think it's a fantastic trend for transitioning your wardrobe from summer into autumn because so many of these dark floral pieces will be fantastic to wear not only now, and I'm wearing this today with some square toe sandals and obviously no thermal layers or anything underneath but as the temperatures start to cool down I could wear this with tights, over knee boots, I could even wear a roll neck jumper underneath this and it will be a fabulous one when the temperatures start to drop. Other autumnal design details which are already on trend are the puff sleeves. It's got an elasticated section around the sleeve so you can create a little bit of volume, but it's not too OTT in that it makes it unwearable. In fact, I would say this is the most wearable dress. It's so flattering. I think the small ditzy floral just are a really good optical illusion. They do create a very flattering body shape and the fact that this is a wrap dress, which I think universally wrap dresses have been understood to be the most flattering dress silhouette so yeah so many reasons why I love this dress and I also think it's really versatile for work and for fun so pretty much 10 out of 10 for this dress and it's from the high street as well so you're not having to spend hundreds of pounds but I think the price per wear on this is going to be absolutely incredible. The next few dresses I'm going to show you are dresses which I have got very strong feelings are going to be wildly popular and are probably going to sell out so I hope they're still in stock as I said they'll be linked down below, um, don't delay if you want to get these, that's, that's the point I'm trying to get to. So the next one is another very popular print, eternally, I feel like leopard print is always in fashion but especially in autumn and this is a slightly muted leopard print, it's not too vivid colour wise, it's almost like a washed out leopard print. It is so flattering, it's got a side zip, it just fits the body really beautifully and then it's got these voluminous shoulders and I feel like the contrast between the voluminous shoulders and then your natural size of your uh, kind of like bodice and waist is just so so flattering. Lengthwise just the same as the floral one that I'm wearing now, it's nice and long which makes it appropriate for so many different occasions. I believe they had this dress in a kind of rust colour colour earlier in the season and it sold out almost instantly so fingers crossed this is still available because I highly recommend this and I think again it's going to be a really lovely price per wear piece and the kind of dress which you're going to wear year after year after year because leopard print just does not go out of fashion. It fits everyone really perfectly thanks to this um, stretchy seersucker section at the back so even if you have a bigger bust than I do then it might just stretch out a little bit more for you and hopefully still fit you absolutely perfectly. I feel like I'm always going on and on about how much I love silk blouses and very recently I was sent this incredible 100% silk dress from a brand called, I want to say Shop It, Shop 
Y-T-E, and it's this heavenly dress. It's the most beautiful quality. It's 100% silk. This is almost like a like a silk georgette, so it's beautiful and lightweight. The way that it hangs and the way that it flows is absolutely stunning. Slightly more pleated along the skirt here, and it does have a lining as well to protect your modesty. I think you can actually wear this two ways. You can wear this with the pussy bow detail at the front, or at the back if you want it to be a little bit more simple. I think the official way is with the bow at the front. But this dress to me is just so true to my personal style. I love blush pink, it's my favourite neutral of all the neutrals. I love high quality pieces like this and it just is so comfortable to wear. We've got a few special events coming up in our calendar as well as a few trips that I think this is going to be perfect for. It is a very special piece but with this gorgeous classic and timeless design it's something that I'm going to cherish in my wardrobe for many years to come. The last video that you will have seen on my channel was an entire Topshop haul, a look at the Idol collection, so I'm not going to go through everything but just to highlight what I think is the best dress from that collection and it is another dark floral, so another dress which just ticks the box for that key autumn trend and I feel like again another piece which is really fantastic for transitioning your wardrobe into autumn and it is this one. I picked it up as I mentioned in Tuesday's video because I really got Zimmerman vibes from this. It really does look like a much higher end dress than a £39 Topshop dress. I love the sleeves, it's beautiful floaty material and it's gorgeous. Kind of like angel wing effect. You've got a tie around the waist, you've got tassel details around the neckline, and I think this colour, even though I don't normally wear dark colours, I'm such a like light colour kind of person, I'm really just loving this pre-autumn trend of dark florals, and I have to say, these two dresses have captured my heart so much. I think especially on warmer days when you do just want to give a nod to the autumn trends, this dress is absolutely perfect. I styled that dress with a new pair of boots, and these I think are going to be my go-to boots for autumn, I feel like it's still too warm to wear or even think about closed toe shoes, but I knew that if I didn't pick these up now then I'm sure they would sell out before I managed to get my hands on them later in the season. They're real leather so the quality is really fantastic and I think that the heel height is absolutely perfect to give me the height boost that I need but without making them unwearable for a long period of time. And the colour is not too different to my skin colour so I think they're going to be very flattering especially when worn with bare legs like I styled with the dress that I just showed you. So if like me you're already starting to think about autumn and what you're going to be wearing then take it from me a pair of flattering and classic boots with a little bit of a nod to the western trend I think is going to be something that we'll be wearing a lot or wanting to wear a lot this upcoming season. In July I did a collaboration with Karen Millen, I created a video for them and when we were in Rome I shot three or four different outfits for Karen Millen to include in that video but another dress which I was very kindly gifted from them which I haven't actually worn out yet is this beautiful one and I wanted to share it with you because I get quite a lot of questions about smart workwear and I feel like Karen Millen is a go-to brand for workwear pieces which are also really stylish, really well made and they're a really good price point because I think with workwear you're going to be getting so much wear out of it you do want to go for quality pieces and yet the designs of Karen Millen are so classic and timeless that you can wear them year after year. This is the most beautiful silhouette, it's made from the most gorgeous like thick cotton fabric, it is lined as well so you don't need to worry about any underwear or anything showing and then it's got this very feminine bow detail in the middle here. I have to say having tried this on it makes me feel very professional and polished and if I had an important meeting then this with a pair of Court shoes I think would be an absolutely fabulous look. Lengthwise I think it's the perfect length for an office as well but if you did want to wear this to a bar or out with friends then I think it's equally perfect for more fun occasions as well. So a really nice versatile dress and a smart one which is going to work for your workwear and your personal wardrobe again for years to come. You know autumn is coming when you start getting excited about knitwear but when I saw this jumper I was like oh my gosh that is just the classic perfect jumper. It's slightly off shoulder and the sleeves are just the perfect length I would say. They're kind of like a three quarter length. Colour wise it's classic. I think the Bardo neckline is just very elegant. I was wearing this this morning while doing my work with my hair in a bun, pearl earrings and I have to say I felt very chic. I was just wearing this, leggings, hair up, pearl earrings and just so so chic and I really did feel fabulous. I will be popping this on again later. I've got to go and get a patch test but I will just 
have the same outfit on again, pair of sunglasses, and it's just the most simple, basic, comfortable, chic outfit. As I said, I've been wearing this just in the house, but I think also dressed up perhaps, ooh, with a pair of leather leggings, oh my goodness, that would look so chic, and I think finding knitwear that doesn't make it look like you're just slobbing around is quite hard, so I love the design of this, and I think that the neutral white shade just makes it so timeless, and a really lovely basic piece to start your autumn wardrobe, even though we are only in August. Another jumper that I recently picked up just because I couldn't resist it is this really gorgeous one. I have to say I haven't totally made my mind up on this yet. I need to wear it, um, I don't know if this is cheeky, but I kind of just want to wear it around the house for an hour or so to make sure it's not itchy because I think this is, um, yeah, it's wool and alpaca, so I need to make sure it's not going to be itchy. Because the actual knit of this is quite a loose knit, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see my thermal underneath it. That is normally my tip when it comes to slightly itchy knitwear, is just pop a thermal on underneath it to create a layer between your skin and the jumper. But I love the colour of this. I thought it would be really gorgeous for wearing on flights. It's going to be so cosy. It does feel really soft initially, but you never know if you just sit in something and you get a little bit warm, if it's going to be itchy or not. But I love the loose design of this and I think it's just another really beautiful jumper to uh, have in my collection. This next item is a little bit random but um, I really needed it because here in the UK we do have quite a lot of rain showers and it is a rain mac from Gantt. I have never tried on a rain mac and felt as smart as I do in this one. The way that this fits the body is just so smart. I mean, it actually looks chic and it's a rain mac, so it's very practical and very stylish as well. As you can tell, the label is still in. I've not had a need to wear this just yet, but it's also lined. It's got these very discreet little pockets which don't ruin the silhouette. Obviously, I've gone for a neutral classic shade, so it's just going to go with no matter what outfit I've got on underneath. And yes, I probably could have gone to M&S or Zara and picked up a raincoat which is much more affordable but there is something about the way that these more premium brands just cut things, the silhouette, the way that they take care to choose the materials, it really does look a step above any more affordable raincoats that I've ever tried on in the past so definitely worth spending just a little bit more and if you do live in a unpredictable weather country like England I think it's definitely worth the investment. Something new in my wardrobe which is very autumnal and I've not worn yet but you know when you just see something and you're like yes they are going to work so well for my autumn wardrobe it is this pair of snake pattern boots from River Island. I imagine myself wearing these with maybe a shearling jacket with white jeans, a cosy white jumper. Once again, hair scraped back in a bun and big sunglasses. I think that is going to be such a chic look. I love the height of these. I feel like I had a very similar, or do have a very similar pair to this, but in a lilac shade. I think they're the same kind of um, height and I got so much wear out of them. Actually, that is a lie. I have already worn these out the house that day when it was pouring with rain the other day. I feel like this, um, this kind of material, the leather on the outside as opposed to suede boots, is really good on unpredictable weather days. They may not be a plain neutral, but I think animal patterns, and especially this kind of faux snake print, is a really good classic piece to have in your wardrobe because animal patterns just don't really go out of fashion. And I think while leopard looks great on clothing, snake is a print that looks really good on footwear. So another really nice early autumn footwear investment from River Island. And I think I've mentioned in many videos in the past that River Island, I'm always really impressed with the quality compared to the price. I feel like they're not overpriced at all, and yet the quality is always really good. Even if I wear these on lots of rainy days, I think they'll continue to look absolutely beautiful throughout the whole of winter and many more winters and autumns to come. One more accessory. This one is brand new, still has the label on, and it is this really gorgeous coin necklace. Hopefully that will focus for you. I think this looks like an old Roman medallion. I probably had Rome on the mind after our recent trip. I thought as we approach the season where we start to bring up the necklines and we start to wear a little bit more chunky knit, it's nice to have a necklace which is not too delicate but also not too chunky, something just in the middle. And I thought this was absolutely perfect for just making a bit of a bit of an accessory statement over some knitwear. It does also look a little bit like the Mizoma or Misoma necklaces, but a fraction of the price. So yeah, I was very happy to uh, find this on and other stories. I really 
really like the style of the chain as well. It's a little bit unusual and definitely something which is going to elevate a simple knitwear piece. I have got a really strong feeling that I am forgetting something and probably a few things but um, that's all I picked out when I was rummaging through my wardrobe. If you're shouting at the screen that I've forgotten something then I apologise but for now I believe those are all the new things in my wardrobe from the past few weeks and months. Obviously I didn't mention all of the Topshop Karen Millen pieces etc because you'd seen them very recently in videos and I don't want to be too repetitive but I will leave those videos linked down below if you would like to see the other pieces which were new to my wardrobe this month and stay tuned because on Tuesday next week there is going to be a luxury premium unboxing and there are going to be some gorgeous new pieces in that. One of the bags has just arrived and I've had a little nosy inside and it's absolutely dreamy so very exciting video to come if you like your slightly more premium unboxings and I feel like next month is going to be the what's new in my wardrobe for August so we're going to start to see a few more beautiful autumnal pieces coming into my collection which is just such a fabulous time of year when it comes to fashion knitwear, coats, layers, suede, leather, so many of my favourite things so darlings stay tuned I hope you're excited for that because I know I definitely am if you are and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up that means the world to me and subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you soon in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!